Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook Adventures. Now we hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and have a happy new year. Yeah, happy new year to all of you. I really hope that 2023 is going to be absolutely fantastic for you all. And of course, we've just announced our big trip over on Theme Park Worldwide. So we'll talk about it here as well. We're going to be heading to Singapore, Australia and Malaysia, which is really oh, it's exciting. So exciting. I can't wait. If you want to see all the details and hear about what's coming up on the trip, head over to Theme Park Worldwide where we've just shared the trip reveal video. Uh, but on here, I just want to say we're also going to be visiting lots of other attractions, some sightseeing along the way. And uh, yeah, all that's going to be coming up on this channel, which is going to be great. There's going to be so much going on. Yeah, all the Theme Park content, of course, on Theme Park Worldwide. And then here on the Sandbrook Adventures, uh, some bits in between, some different bits of traveling and seeing some of the lovely scenery and beaches uh, that we're going to be experiencing on this absolutely epic trip. So yeah, it's going to be across both channels. So yes, we've got a few uh, little updates to share with you all, starting off inside the house, because we've been pretty busy, even though it's been we the festive been. season. Uh, so we're going to take you up and show you our new office in just a moment. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. It is still a work in progress. However, the last time you all saw that room at the front, it was full of boxes <laughs> and all my theme park stuff. It looks a bit of a mess. Uh, but now, because of how the British Theme Park Museum has been coming on, aka the shed in our garden, uh, <laughs> it's been coming on really well. So now I've been able to move some of the boxes um, from in the front bedroom out there into the shed and it's freed up that area to turn it into it's the office. So yeah, we'll show you that in just a second. And then following that, we'll head over um, in to the museum and uh, show you some updates in there because I've been working on the insulation, the flooring and also Charlotte's dad, Neil. Yes, he's done a great job. Yeah, he's done a really good job. So we'll show you all that as well. But uh, yeah, let's go and start upstairs and we'll give you a little tour around. And of course the twinkly Christmas tree still going strong here as well in our living room. Yeah, I'm very traditional. We'll take our Christmas decorations down from the 5th of January. Yeah, I like to leave them up uh, because it's bad luck, you know, if you take them down early. Some people start taking them down now. It's like, what? I think people get a bit fed up of them in the house, don't they? But it is bad luck. It is, and they look pretty. Yeah, like, they look if you've got classy decorations and nice ones, then... I don't mind leaving them ah, It's fine, isn't it? But yeah, let's uh, make our way upstairs. Here we go. Of the Christmas tree. Oh, we've got the garlands up and everything. Lovely Christmas tree now I've got my Halloween spirit jersey. Yeah, Halloween Charlotte, what? It does say <laughs> It does, there we go. Right, welcome to our new office. Lovely. Yeah, look at this. So last time you saw it, it was literally, boxes it was boxes everywhere. Now it's not fully sorted out yet because if I you look on this good. side, we still got lots yeah. of stuff up there. However, um, all that will be going out of course into the shed. Yeah, it's forget that's there. <laughs> We've put it all this side now because it means that when you go up the stairs, don't you don't see, see it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all there. It is going to be going. However, this whole room couldn't be used before. No, no. Now it can be, and that's it looks it. great. Here you go. Here's a look at the office. Now, obviously, this is going to be a studio as well um, for Theme Park Worldwide and on this channel too. So we might film the odd sit down video here at some point. Obviously, we filmed our trip reveal. Um, basically, for the move, I built like this wall that could uh, be transported around. So we've been using that for a while. But now we've got a, a proper backdrop again just which here. Is nice. Yeah, which is nice with the desk and everything. Um, and then, yeah, we're also, of course, going to have the studio, which will be our main studio out in the garden as part of the museum. But yeah, just thought I'd show you this. Literally just finished it off about an hour ago. Uh, so yeah, I got this desk just here. This was actually from Argos and yeah it was £150 for the desk which to be honest I don't think it's too bad because you've got three storage compartments here. It's enough to fit two chairs underneath and then you've also got the box at the bottom and it means you can put your computer on the side because I find it quite messy you know when you put them on top the computers. Yeah it's a nice job it's separate isn't it? Yeah I think that's nice and obviously with it being really heavy the main component of the PC that can be down there tucked away that's black as well so it all fits with it. Um, so yeah I'm really pleased with that. Obviously my computer I've had for a long time this is the one that I play Planet Coaster on I've had it for about seven years now. Uh, probably going to do some PC upgrades at some point might go for a double monitor here at some point in the future um, but for now it's going to be staying like that. Charlotte got me this for Christmas. Look at this. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Velocicoaster sign. Um, now, yeah, I thought this would work really nice in here. Subtle theme park reference. Nothing too OTT in here. But I thought that looks really nice on the office. Got the on-air sign that, of course, I've kept from the old wall um, that I had. I really like that. So I thought we'll put that 
up on here. And then of course the wonderful YouTube silver play button there for Theme Park Worldwide. And if we keep going, and thanks for all your support, we'll be getting another one of those for this channel oh, at some point soon. Really nice, yeah, approaching 90,000 subscribers. So thank you so much thank for all your support. You. Um, but yeah, like we, we, we get another one when we get to 100,000. So we'll have that up there as well. But oh, thanks so much. Uh, also, I've just put this nice strip light down the back there. That was from B&M Bargains. That was, I think, £25 for I that. I think it was £19.99. Oh, there you go. Oh, 99 went the one with the buttons. Ah, uh, yeah, I was looking at one that was app control, but I, I prefer the one with the buttons for something like this. I don't think you need an app just to, no. for something like this. Just the uh, having it on a button control. And then, of course, I got this unit. This was from Ikea. And I'm just trying to remember now how much it was. Can you, you remember, Charlotte? I'm not too... I can't no, remember. I can't remember now how much it was, but... I think it was about £100. Yeah, it, it wasn't like ridiculous you know obviously you've got the four shelves just here and obviously we're gonna have all our paperwork and everything sorted out on there some uh, stories there for the printer uh, probably get a new printer at some point in the future because obviously that one's white it doesn't really go in here I think maybe like a gray or mm -hmm. uh, black printer on there at some point but thought that'll do for now and it's also got two storage drawers underneath that are pretty good actually like these drawers um, are fantastic let's open them up for you there you are. it's gonna be a bit of a stationary cupboard in there the bottom one gonna be for paperwork and we've got like travel adapters and so there we go we just got our australia <laughs> travel adapters um down there but yeah i think overall that's looking nice we've also got this lovely picture of charlotte and i as well Aww. that's nice isn't it there we go magic kingdom at walt disney world but yeah that's the update from inside the house also we've got this down here yeah we have it's really nice this is yeah so this is a nice map of the world there we go oh we blurred out a bit there there we go that's it. Uh, there's a look at the map of the world. And yeah, I really like it. The plan with that is we're going to put like bits of string or something coming off it yeah, with of pictures of where we've been. Yeah. So obviously we've covered a lot of this and a lot of this. No, we're going to be coming down here. <laughs> well, yeah, that's actually going to be going over on the stairs just over here. Lovely. Yeah, it's going to be up on this wall just over here. And yeah, that is the plan with that in the future. But there you go, I think it's looking a lot better in it, hasn't it? I think it looks lovely. Yeah, right, we'll uh, take you outside now. I'm going to show you inside what will be the British Theme Park Museum. Well, here it is, the Alton Towers bookworm. Happy New Year to you. Um, but yeah, here we go. As much as I've not been working over Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day, in between that, I've been doing quite a bit actually on the other days. And uh, Charlotte's dad came round, he's an electrician, so he's done the wiring in here, which is fantastic. So we've got the sockets in uh, and some nice lighting, so I'll show you that in just a moment. And uh, along with that, I've got some blinds from Ikea for in here. I've done the insulation myself and also as well, um, put some insulation down for the flooring because yeah my flooring should be arriving soon just going for some vinyl um for both of these sheds just here but yeah come and join me let's have a look here we go then let's start off by taking a look at the electric so yeah obviously i put in these just temporary whilst i was doing all the work but here we go now i've got some proper lighting in just here as well so yeah obviously all the wires and stuff are uh, gonna be all covered over once we put all the plasterboard up but yeah you've got like all these different boxes here um there's a little look down at two of the sockets that have gone in. And uh, yeah, I've never done anything to do with electrics before. So I found it really interesting actually. Uh, the fact that Charlotte's dad, Neil, big shout out to Neil, thanks for helping out. Um, was showing me all about this and explaining how it works. And yeah, I found it quite interesting actually, because obviously electrics, you've got to know what you're doing, you know, uh, you've got to be careful. Um, but yeah, he was showing me all this and fantastic. So it's really good how we've got proper plugs in here. Because my previous shed, we just kind of ran in and out an outdoor extension lead into the shed and then used extension cords from there um so yeah this is much better much safer and yeah we've got a double socket just in here and uh yeah just thought i'd show you the insulation just in here as well so yeah these really cool so you put them up and then you get a staple gun and yeah you just staple them too they're about that thick um so yeah really nice actually you just roll this stuff out and yeah i've put this all the way around just in here to help insulate. Obviously there was two windows there uh, originally, but yeah, these have been blocked over, boarded on the other side and put the insulation in. So that's looking good. And then yeah, I've put these down on the floor just here. Uh, they've got a bit dirty as I've been doing some of the work, but that doesn't matter because these are just insulation for underneath. And then obviously um, gonna be putting the vinyl floor on top uh, once I've given it a good sweep up. But yeah, let's make our way 
into the main part. Da, 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 da. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, I told you I've got loads of other stuff. Here it all is now. Um, most of this, of course, has come out of the other room. But yeah, I've got all my mugs just in here. Um, yeah, like really <laughs> messy at the moment in here. But it is going to come together nicely when it's all done. But yeah, these insulation sheets and them all round here. Put them all at the top. Um, so yeah, I've been watching a few YouTube videos on how to do it, and these are staple gun. I've put the tape round just to help. It's not really holding up anything. That's just to help with the gaps around the side. Obviously, because it's a bit cooler, some of the tapes come a bit unstuck, but I'll get that sorted out. Look at these blinds. These look nice, don't they? They're actually they're the same blinds as what we've got inside the office that you've just seen there. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with these, because what's nice about these blinds is the fact that you don't have to have anything on the sides, if you know what I mean. You have to pull a cord. Literally, you just go like this. These are, I think they were 25 pounds each from Ikea. And there you go, that's it. Nice view looking out of the tree. Obviously that'll be coming down next week. There you go. So you just pull that down and that's it. And obviously now I've got some proper light fixtures in here. I'll be able to take these temporary ones down. These are gonna go outside actually in the garden. Um, but yeah, I got these two fixtures in here. The reason we've done them in this location is because there's gonna be a false wall down here. Not in the middle, it's more gonna leave a third here and then two thirds just over there. Um, but yeah, so we've put those in, measured them so they're in the right place for that and obviously get some sort of fitment to go over the top of those, some lampshade or something in the future um, as well. But yeah, I tell you what, it's looking good. Obviously all my floor down here, that's all marked out ready for the vinyl and yeah it's looking great insulated all the ceiling as well these beams are going to be painted i'll probably do that before putting the floor down just so it's easier and also around the edges of the blinds there they easily just clip off um so yeah i can paint all around those sides but yeah i tell you what it is looking good i've used sealer and gone all around the edges as well i've been working really hard on it all uh of course dad's uh, come around and a couple of bits as well um yeah i've done most of this actually on my own just in here you know so it's been nice cracking on with the project obviously you've got a couple of double sockets down here as well there's one just there another one down there going to be perfect um, for charging phones some theme lighting and all that jazz it adds a lot more privacy into the shed just there, having the blinds up. And yeah, fantastic, really pleased with it. Obviously got the blinds up all around there as well. And here's a look at the lovely Christmas tree before it comes down next week. But don't worry, it will be back next year here in our lovely garden. Well, there we go then. The shed is looking absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Charlotte? Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, your dad's done a great job oh, as well. Oh, he's done such a good job. Yeah, with him being a professional electrician as well. He knows a lot more Which about it than I good. do. <laughs> I know a bit about extension leads and how to overload them, but when it comes to that, like, you know. I know, we don't have a clue. <laughs> don't have a clue, no. I think in the past we've all plugged too much into an extension yeah. lead. Don't do it. But yeah, that's done, been done really yeah, well. Yeah, really good. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job in there and it's going to look brilliant. Of course, more updates on the way in the new year in 2023. Uh, it'll be really now when we come back from our big trip that's when we'll be continuing in oh, there definitely. yeah the plan is to have it all done and ready for the start of the theme park season here in the uk that's march we'll come back from the trip we'll be into february We've got so, time to yeah like out. it'll be a february thing getting all that finished definitely. off you gotta think there's not too far to go now get the flooring in when that comes um get all the plasterboards up in there as well and then it's really shelving seating yeah, it's all that yeah all that and then actually setting up the signs yeah that's really exciting and yeah the office is looking really nice oh, as well that's brilliant there we go like we say have an absolutely amazing have new year time. head over to theme park worldwide check out our full trip that we're going to be doing but like i say there's going to be lots of content coming to this channel as well so if you haven't already now is a great time to be subscribed to both channels and join us on this absolutely amazing adventure thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own adventures. adventures we'll see you all in 2023